Last week, I uploaded a video where I spoke about uh, putting a workout from Garmin Connect on my phone onto Garmin Connect my watch. So this is just a quick uh, rundown on how you do that. It's very simple. If you open up the Garmin Connect app, and in the top left-hand uh, corner, you'll see three little lines. You press on those three lines, and then if you look down on that drop-down menu, you'll see a, um, a training um, option. So press the training, and then the first option when you drop down training is workouts. So you press on workouts, and when you go in there, you can see you can find a workout or you can create a workout. So just plus hit the plus button to create a workout. And then I'm going to choose a run because it's running is what I'm doing. Now, you'll, when you open up that, you'll see you have an option. You have a warm up there. You'll have a run and a cool down. So if you just chose that and you just change, let's just change. It has there a 1K run. So if I put that into, say, a 5K run. So we'll just bring it up to 5 and hit done and then hit the back button. You can see it's a warm up, a 5K run and a cool down. So what that would mean is I would warm up and then I'd hit the lap button on my phone and then it would go straight into my 5K run. And once I finish the 5K run, it will go into cool down mode straight away itself. Once it tells me, once I've done the 5K, I'll get a little alarm. Now, if you wanted to do an interval workout instead of just a straightforward run, I'm just gonna hit the X. I'm gonna delete that run that says 5K. So see the little X just to the right of that. I'll just press that and I'll hit remove. And if you wanted to do like a workout or a session, you hit the add repeat. So click on the add repeat. And then you get the option to um, how many how many repeats you want to do. So the, the phone um, or the, the app is telling you it's got two times. So let's move that down. Let's say you want to do 10 by 400 meters. You would put that to 10. So you're going to have 10 reps of 400 meters. And then you'll change the distance. So it's got uh, the, the, the uh, duration set to one kilometer. I'm going to change that to no kilometers and scroll it down till I get to 400 meters. I'll just scroll that right down. There we are, and then hit done. And I'll go back, and you can see there, it's got 10 times four, and then my recovery is set. I want to have my recovery at, um, let's say the recovery for a minute. So instead of three minutes, I'll move it down to one minute, and hit done, and back. So there, I've created a workout. You can see I have a warm up, and then I have 10 times 400 with one minute recovery between each 400, and then a cool down. And then what I do then is just hit save on that. You can name the workout, so I'll just name it there, uh, 10 by 400 meters, hit save. And then when I click on that, you'll see it's, it's in the drop down menu now of, of, the work, of my workouts. If I tap on that, in the top right hand corner, you'll see an arrow leading to your phone. You just hit that arrow, it leads to your phone or to your watch. And then you'll see my option, you see my forerunner 745 connected. Click on that, and there's telling me it's time to get running. So that's it, uploaded, that's how simple it is. So once I've uploaded the data from my phone to my watch, I come to my watch and I select as if I'm gonna go for a run, and then click on run, and then I just hit the up button, so I just press the arrow up button, and then you can see workouts, so I select workout, and then it'll give me today's suggestion if I want, or I can just go down, there it is, the 10 by four is the one I just created, I click on that, do workout, and then there I am, I'm ready to go. So that's a fairly straightforward step in how you do that, create the 10 by 400s. You could change any of those time, distance, duration. You can add more intervals and less intervals by hitting the add repeats or less repeats. So whatever you want, you can mess around with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And remember, run far, run fast, but most of all, run sensible.